Good morning and God bless everyone. This is See More Better from ChristianEyewear.com where believing is seeing. Special thank you to Glenda and Spencer, West Virginia for the purchase of my Christian Eyewear. It is the model number, well the model name, the Philippians 413, which of course is I can do all things through God who strengthens me. This is the 52 eye size. All the colors come in three sizes. The 52 you will see today. The 55 and the largest 58. All of them come with a polarized magnetic clip on. You can see this very strong but lightweight rare earth magnets that are embedded into the clip. There's also one embedded to the frame front that these are married to. All frames come with uh, crosses on each side. You can get them with silver or gold. But Glenda asked for the gold crosses, so that's what I'll do. I'm going to pop out the original demo lenses and cut her prescription Zeiss Light D Digital Freeform Progressive Lenses with the Photo Fusion Blue and the DuraVision Blue Protect Anti-Glare. And I'm going to show you the entire process. I'm going to assign a barcode number to her lenses, so years from now, should she ever need new lenses, I can mail them right to her home. And this is why Little Stylus is going to program this shape into the computer, starting with the right side. Here at ChristianEyewear.com, where everyone loves a bargain and no one is disappointed with quality. You buy any frame that I offer, and you'll receive one free pair of clear, single vision prescription lenses or non-prescription fashion lenses. My receipt has my federal ID tax number, so if you have vision insurance or unused health savings account flex dollars, you will get reimbursed for this purchase, whether they are prescription or not. Now, I do not accept any vision insurance plans, but I can provide to you upon request an itemized receipt that you can file for your out-of-network reimbursement. Same goes for your health savings account flex dollars, and you'll get the full reimbursement from that. My website takes MasterCard, Visa, Discover, and American Express. It also takes Apple Pay, Google Pay, Samsung Pay, and, of course, Health Savings Account Flex Dollars. So I need to enter her pupillary distance, which the total is 58, so divided by 2 is 29. I'm going to tap the minus button a few times till we get to 29. I want to raise the optical center height, the seg height, for the, her invisible bifocal to 22. I'm going to change the layout screen from single vision to progressives because I lay them out differently. Single vision means just for distance. Um, there's the line style bifocal, the classic one that our grandparents wore, and now Glenda and I both wear the invisible no line progressive lens. So I need to get her lenses ready. This one is marked right. I'm going to take it out of the packet that it comes to me from Zeiss. The three dots on it tells me how to orient the lens so it's installed correct correctly. Excuse me. I need two double-sided adhesive stickers to attach to this device which is called the block. I'm going to stick that. This is what holds it in place while it is cutting. The silver button on the back is a magnet. It's going to do its job twice. The first time it's going to attach itself to another magnet here in the arm. Pull the paper away to make the black side sticky. Line that up. Get everything lined up as such. And... Hit that button, the arm comes down, places the block onto the right lens. We're going to do the same thing now for the left lens. The other thing I do is I always like to highlight everything she's getting. Now, these are the original packages from Zeiss, so she's going to get that. This is the right lens. Progressive 1.59 is the refractive index of polycarbonate. Photofusion Blue, which is uh, the self-tinting lens. It comes in four colors, gray, brown, green, and blue, and she chose the blue. Highlight the BP, which stands for blue protection, and then her prescription, right eye prescription, is minus 150, minus a quarter at four. She has half a diopter, 0.5, base down, um, and I'll explain what the 270 means and her progressive strength. And let's do the same thing now for the left lens. Take it out of the packet, place it onto a platform. No need to change the pupillary distance. That's the same, same optical center height, and get everything lined up as such. And hit that button, the arm's going to come down, place the block onto the left lens. Now this is the blocker, excuse me, this is the blocker, this is the tracer, this is the edger. Oh, before I forget, 
For her own medical records, Zeiss provides an 8x11 piece of paper that documents everything. So next time you go to the doctor, Glenda, and they casually ask you what you're wearing, hand them this. Say, Doc, I'm wearing the Zeiss Progressive Light D, which stands for Digital Freeform Progressive Lenses. 1.59 is a refractive index for polycarbonate, the photofusion blue. Here's the prescription for the right eye, including the prism. Prescription for the left eye. Pupillary distance, the optical center height, even the base curve of the lens, and all digital freeform progressives have compensated powers. As you just like you, it's called a progressive because you look downward in the lens, it progressively gets stronger and stronger till we get to the reading power. So it gives you the laser engravings that come with every pair of progressives and the layout chart as it's called these are just technical shop terms that anyone at your doctor's office will know and what powers they can read in both lenses so you can keep that for your medical records so this is the edger this is what's going to do all the work while i run my mouth it has a diamond crusted wheel that's going to grind away the lens material till it's the final size this wheel in the center that has that channel or little valley that's what's going to put the V-shaped bevel onto the lens so it stays inside the bevel of the frame. Now I want to wake up the computer, essentially transfer the data that I programmed onto the here to here. So I'm going to wake this up. Job ID number 3773. 3773, or as I like to say, installment 3773 of my 330 million volume series of making a pair of glasses for everyone in America. Spoiler alert, stay tuned for episode number 330 million because something crazy is going to happen. Actually, I'm going to need to sit down, have a, have a swallow of water, eat a snack, and then probably take a nap. It won't be very exciting at all. So, these are polycarbonate lenses. If they were plastic, high-index plastic, or Trivex, I would select that material. But we're going to stick with polycarbonate because it, it is my lens material of choice. I'm not going to polish the edge of the lenses because it's not going to be seen. But I am going to put a safety bevel on the back concave surface of the lens and I'll explain why in just a moment but I'm gonna take the right lens now the, the magnet's gonna do its job a second time it's gonna attach itself to another magnet there in the chuck or as I like to call it the Charles because I just don't know this machine well enough to call it Chuck hit the green start button the door closes the dirty door the secret agent 2840 will complain about but that's okay. It's always good to hear from, from good friends. So the lens is going to be traced by two white styluses, making sure that it's large enough to fit into the frame first, go around, and then second one, it's measuring the thickness of the lens to know where to place the bevel for you to have the least amount of edge thickness. But don't worry, Glenda, you're not going to have any edge thickness with your prescription in this frame. Now the lens is going to drop down on the cutting wheel. Water is spraying in the back. That's there to catch the optical sawdust, also known as Schwarf. Polycarbonate lenses cut dry, meaning that no water sprays onto the lens while it is cutting. Unlike plastic, high-index plastic, and Trivex, they do have water spraying onto the lens for the duration of the cutting cycle. Now, water will spray onto your lenses, Glenda, but just to wash away the optical debris that you see beginning to form on the edge of the lenses. Now, as I mentioned, your lenses are made out of polycarbonate, which is 40% thinner and lighter than regular plastic. They are virtually unbreakable. These are the same impact resistant lenses that our soldiers wear overseas in combat zones to protect their eyes from shrapnel, from flying debris. It has 100% UVA and UVB protection. In fact, it has so much that Zeiss has partnered with the American Cancer Society because they offer the most complete UV protection of any lens. Now, the Zeiss Photo Fusion Blue, which I'll demonstrate later, also has 30 to 50% blue light built into it. She got the blue light anti-glare on top of that, giving her the maximum amount of protection that you can have. Now, anti-glare is three features in one. The first feature is it reduces glare when driving at night, particularly driving at night in the rain. But from street lights, stop lights, computer screens, overhead fluorescent lights and such. And the second feature is it reduces reflections. So someone's not looking at their own reflection while talking to you, so it makes for much better eye contact. The third feature is that, oh, and also if you take a selfie, you're less likely to see the phone in the lens, or if someone takes a picture with a flash, you're less likely to see that. So water has begun spraying, which tells me it's in the last 20 seconds of the cutting cycle. The other nice thing about the UV protection in the lenses is that we know what the sun's harmful ultraviolet rays can do to your skin. Your eyes are eight times more sensitive than your skin, so you have permanent sunscreen for your eyes. 
unlike the lotions, creams, and sprays that have to be reapplied every couple hours when you're in direct exposure to the sun. Now, the third feature of the anti-glare is it comes with the industry's hardest scratch coating. The machine that applies the anti-glare coating costs over a million dollars and takes over 24 hours to vaporize onto the lens. I will now open this door with my mind. I can do other things with my mind. I can melt ice with my mind. I can. I just have to stare at it for a couple hours and concentrate, and then I can get it to melt. But the, as I was saying, it takes over 24 hours to vaporize eight different coatings onto your lens. Your lens has to go, that's in a clean, sterile room. Your lens goes through an acid bath in between each coating, air dried, and because of the time and the expense, they put the industry's hardest scratch coating on there to protect your time and investment. And I just want to make sure all the optical sawdust is off the edge of the lens. Now, the reason why I put the safety bevel on the back surface, as I install the lenses into the frame, I'm going to tuck it in at the outside corner first and use my thumbs press down. Now, it snaps in there easily because I know this frame very well and it cuts so true. But if this were too large, based on the prescription, if I were to press down, I don't want any part of the lens to be rough against the frame marring the finish or causing a blemish so you want a perfectionist like me cutting your lenses flip that over to l place the magnet into the chuck the charles the chucky baby or today i'm calling it the glenda hit the green start button and in just a moment i'm going to start working i'm going to take this block off i'll start begin what's known as final inspection where i'm going to make sure the lens is made exactly how the doctor prescribed but the reason why glenda chose this frame the philippians 413 which again is i can do all things through christ who strengthens me and again christian and i were designed in usa by me but she picked the 413 frame because she thought she needed strength and pr protection especially when working through her migraines this clip which is also great too she says i thought it would be awesome to have god's word wrapped around my head and a friendly reminder when i take my glasses off at night that there is nothing I cannot master with the help of the one who gives me strength. And that's from the Jerusalem Bible, the Reader's Edition. And I jokingly refer to this as sun protection, S-O-N protection. You are protected by the Son of God now. Now, I joke around a lot and I kid. Well, I try to kid. Most people don't laugh at that joke. I have to explain it to them. But uh, I love what I do. I take my work very seriously I just joke with myself so now the first part of final inspection I'm going to put it in over that black dot now I am a licensed optician I went to opticianry college to learn this I passed the state board exam I have 23 years experience in the field but a couple years ago I woke up one day now I'm not a musician but I realized I'm just a cover band I'm putting lenses in other people's songs Ralph Lauren Polo, Harley Davidson, BMW, Ray-Ban, Oakley, Kazal, more Ray-Bans, Versace. And I realized I wanted to start writing my own songs. And what song was dear to my heart? Our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, who has taken me from the valley, the depths of my life, to up to the... Actually, I'm not at the top of the mountain yet. I don't want that, that instant gratification. I always have to work towards it. I hope the mountain keeps climbing higher as I keep climbing with my faith, knowing that I can accomplish anything with the Lord and Savior behind me. Nothing, no harm can come to me. So I'm gonna put it in over that black dot, read the power. I'm gonna turn the axis wheel to four, and I'll explain what all these numbers mean. First, I'm putting it on four. I'm gonna read the power off the lens. And I'm getting 150, exactly halfway between one and two in the red numbers, not the black positive the red minus that's because well the unit of measurement we use in the optical world is called a diopter spelled d-i-o-p-t-e-r it starts at zero and goes up in quarter increments from there 0 0.25 0 0.50 0.75 1 one and a quarter 150 so glenda is on the sixth rung of a ladder she needs a doctor and a half of far-sighted correction with her glasses off everything is good here but as it moves away it starts to get blurry so she needs six steps of far-sighted correction now, once the image is the correct size, she has, well, in a right eye, the smallest amount of astigmatism correction you can have, one step. So we're going to measure that now. And we end up at, where's my, I've got a smaller flash, so I just can't find it. We end up at minus 175, one tick mark away from two, going away from zero, 
towards 2. That's because you add the two minuses together. So minus 150 and minus a quarter it makes 175. Now, uncorrected astigmatism makes sixes and eights look like or the letters P and F. Think of it as the fine tune knob. A straight line is 0 to 90 to 180. And follow me here, at the bottom of the circle is 270. So we're going to turn that fine tune knob just about to 4. Now, she has half a diopter of base down prism. That is, involves a muscular image where, if you can imagine a... Well, here, let's draw in here. A prism is essentially a triangle. This is the base. This is the apex. The valley, the mountaintop. Now, the prism is at the bottom and it redirects the image to the apex. So she has 0.5 diopter of base down prism. And a circle, hopefully you guys can see all that. 0 here, 180 here, 90 at the top, 270. It's called base down. That's why the number half adopter at 270. So that directs where the, where the prism goes. And it redirects the eye towards there. So she has some muscular issues. And that could be the cause of the migraines as well because eye fatigue sets in. It's probably less likely to occur during the day. But you have six eye muscles, and as we age, every muscle in our body gets weaker, including our six eye muscles. So essentially, her eye is picking up a heavy weight, and at the end of the day, it just wants to set it down. And that's where the prism comes in and helps her relieve the eye muscle so they don't have to work as hard. Now let's go ahead and see the left lens. We're going to take that out. Dry everything off run my thumbnail around to get that off of there tuck it now I have the side I'm working on closest to me tuck it in at the outside corner press down it snaps off the block comes off add to my sticker collection I've made a few pair of glasses toss that back in there and let's go ahead and darken this so you can see it at home and if you guys missed any of that let me recap oh I know it's a bad joke but I have to sneak it in in every video so I'm going to turn the fine tune knob to 10, which is the axis for the left eye. Put it in over that black dot, read the power, and I am getting minus one and a quarter. Much closer to one this time than I am to two. Now she has four steps, an additional diopter of astigmatism correction. So let's check the, so essentially she has minus one and a quarter here. 90 degrees away she has a steeper curve that is ground into the lens. And it's how we lo rotate those two curves to make everything nice and crisp. And it was rotated to 10. Let's check the second curvature, 90 degrees away. And we're at minus two and a quarter. We went from one and a quarter to two and a quarter because we added these two numbers together. Now the last couple steps in the final inspection is to measure, just like the crosshairs of a scope, I measure vertically and horizontally. So the optical centers are dead center in front of her eye. The horizontal measurement is 58, the vertical measurement is 22. So I'm going to take, turn the card around so you guys can see. Place the PD stick, short for pupillary distance, and it's also a good coffee stirrer. <laughs> I'm just kidding, I'm kidding, optical humor. And we hold, uh, place on the, against that measurement on your right lens, and when we look at the left lens we're getting 58 millimeters, so that is cut perfectly. Now we're going to check the optical center height of 22, not to the bottom of the lens, but to the middle of the deepest part of the plastic. Because again, the lens goes halfway into the plastic, we're getting 22 millimeters. 22 millimeters, so that is cut perfectly. Now there's one more step in final inspection. But I'd like to point out that this is the point in every video that as I clean your lenses, I mentioned that there's free shipping anywhere in the U.S., and Spencer, West Virginia is in the U.S., but when you get these in the mail, Glenda, there is a small chance that these could fit. Oops, I'm, I missed a dot based on your PD. Let me get it real close on the edge. There we go. There we go. Of course, you could be the first on your block to wear it with those magic marker on there, <laughs> but no, I'll take it off. 
The, there's a small chance these could fit too loose or too tight. However, there's an 80% chance that one side is going to sit higher than the other. And that's because 80% of people have one ear that is higher than the other. And I'm no different. I'm part of that 80%. But because of that statistic, here's another statistic for you. 99% of all optical shops will do free adjustments if you ask them. So just stop by your local practice and just tell them if it's too loose or high on one side it only takes about 30 seconds to a minute to adjust a pair of glasses perfectly but I'm gonna get these in standard alignment also known as a three-point stance the three points are one two and the bottom of the frame being three I put it on the counter and press down there is no wobble now when I say wobble I'm part of that 80% when I take mine off and press down they wobble on the counter but they sit level on me for those of you keeping score at home I'm wearing the black and silver Philippians 413 that matches my black and uh, silver wisdom highlights that I have coming in over my ears. Although I should say I have silver hair with some black highlights coming in. That's about what it is now. So uh, 54, it is a gift. I've earned each and every one of those gray hairs that I'm proud of them. So, but I'm going to flip this over, press down. There is no wobble. Close each temple to make sure they overlap perfectly and they do. Look how beautiful those crosses are, those purple crosses. And so that's the last step of final inspection. I want to go ahead and show you what they look like. Now I'm going to send out a selfie request in every package to have your picture on the website. Glenda, I would love to have two. One with them clear and then one with you outside showing how blue they are. Or you can do it with your polarized clip-on. The snap's on there. But I also send out cleaning instructions not only for your frame and lenses, but for your Christian eyewear cleaning cloth, hang on, hang on. Exit stage, hand left, enter stage left. Um, your Zeiss cleaning cloth and how to care for your case so it too will last you for years. You want to see how strong your magnetic clip on is? Whoa, hey, hang on, I threw it on there too fast. Here we go, it, it attaches to your case. Now, even though she got the PhotoFusion blue lenses, let's go ahead and demonstrate, but I'm going to go ahead and use your cloth to clean your lenses. So, Glenda, you can't tell me you can't get your lenses clean. I'm doing it now. I field test every cloth, so when you get this and there's a wrinkle in it, you know that it works. <laughs> so, my own little humor here. So, as you can see, it'll take about 30 to 45. I'm going to expose it to a strong burst of ultraviolet light. But as you can see, it takes about 30 to 45 seconds for the photochromic element of the lens to darken all the way. A little bit longer when you come back inside 45 seconds to a minute minute 15 now this is important everyone pay attention all photochromic transition lenses will turn dark on day one and continue to darken every day for the first couple weeks are exposed to the sun after that they will work for years at maximum performance the only time they won't work is if you're behind the windshield of a car your windshield absorbs the sun's harmful ultraviolet rays that would cause your dashboard to crack from sitting in the sun all day and that's why they don't turn dark in a car Look at that beautiful blue. Glenda, you will love this. I wear it. My wife wears it. It makes God's beautiful blue sky even better. The green of the trees, the grass, all things growing on this green earth. God's green earth just looks beautiful through these blue lenses. Now, I'm a little biased. I can still offer you gray, brown, and green, but this blue really pops. This says Glenda's not afraid to wear color. She's going to have the purple with the blue lenses. Now, they're also temperature sensitive, photochromic lenses that is. So they will get darker when it's 85 and below than they will when it's 95 and above. But I remind everyone, when it's 100 degrees outside, you're miserable, your glasses are miserable, nobody or nothing works 100% when it's 100 degrees outside. We all work much better when it cools off. Now, these, this frame and lens package, well, the single vision lenses is 149 complete. As I keep talking, these will get lighter and lighter and turn back to clear. But uh, the line style bifocal that I pointed to earlier is 199 complete. Glenda and I wear the invisible bifocal from Zeiss, and that is 249 complete. The PhotoFusion Blue adds 99. The DuraVision Blue Protect adds another 99 for a total of. Where's the math? I mathed wrong. For a total, of, I will math wrong. So a total of 447 tax free. I always point that out because I'm in North Carolina. North Carolina considers eyeglasses a medical device and I do not have to charge tax on medical devices and that's how I'm able to remain tax free. I always have to look at my card because it's hard for me to do math in my head. I have failed math so many times I can't even count. 
hello, is this on? Feel free to laugh at that joke. That's as funny as I get. All right. You know? so, by the way, the math theory of the state, my after graduating from college, I had to pass the state board exam to get licensed. There were eight parts of the exam, and one of them was math and physics. Just like when you play with a magnifying glass, it changes the power of the lens. And so you have to figure out the math. Just like with contacts that are weaker because they sit closer on the eye, you have to figure out mathematical elements to interpret prescriptions. And I scored the highest score in the history of my state on that part. The the it's known as theory it involves math and physics and don't worry i was just as shocked as everyone else because that was my weak spot so i studied and studied but you know what i discovered through many days of my life all things are possible through god we tend to worry a lot about things that never really happen but i was prepared i studied and god was there for me and when i left that exam i went you get a 10 minute break between each hour long exam and I went out in the hallway and just jumped up and down because I knew I nailed it. Nailed it. Speaking of which, the three nails that Jesus was crucified on, I've had requests, can I put blood where the, cru where the nine inch nails have gone through? And I will try and do that on future models, but on this model, it comes in, uh, as I mentioned, three sizes, 52, 55, and 58. And how do you know what this will look like? because I wore this frame for about six or seven years. This is the Ray-Ban New Wayfarer. This is a sunglass frame. It comes like this, but of course the magnets do not stick to the Ray-Ban frame because it does not have magnets embedded into the frame. But I was so influenced because this is so comfortable and so durable. I sent one of my frames to the manufacturer and said replicate it. Now don't put Ray-Ban on the side because that would be counterfeiting. Put this beautiful old rugged cross on there. Now, I took the shield. This is a cosmetic thing. I took that off because some people don't like that. And Ray-Ban comes with a three-barrel hinge, meaning that there's two barrels on... This is known as the temple. This is the frame front. There's two barrels on the temple, one on the frame front. When you put the screw in there, that makes a three-barrel hinge. I wanted this to be as strong as everyone's faith in the Lord above, so I put a seven-barrel, meaning there's four barrels on the temple, three on the frame front and then when you put the screw in there that's how strong that is so extremely durable this is the strongest hinge you can put on any optical frame and that's why i chose it and of course the last modification i made to the ray-ban the magnetic clip-ons so the sun protection s-o-n all right i know give me another week i'll make that funny so but you can go into any store in america that sells the ray-ban again the same size is 52 55 and 58 and you can try them on and know exactly how they'll look like now the four colors this comes in purple black that i'm wearing tortoise and i have a new wood color because i figured if you're going to walk up to the bell ring it if you're going to do a crucifix frame i wanted a frame that looked like wood and i call this one dogwood because allegedly Rumor has it that Jesus was crucified on a dogwood tree. And of course, God has made them small enough now that it will not support the weight of another person so they can never be crucified again. Every frame comes with either a silver cross or a gold cross. So on the website, and I'll have a link in the description below to look at these frames, but you can get them with a silver or a gold cross, black with gold, black with silver, tortoise with silver, tortoise with gold, purple with silver, for, and purple and gold for all you Minnesota Vikings, LA Lakers, LSU Tigers. I think there's a few others out there I'm forgetting at this point. Same for the, the dogwood. You can get it with silver or gold. And because the wood is a bolder look, I went ahead and made a bolder mirror. I put a silver mirror for the silver crosses in the wood. And I put a gold mirror for the gold crosses. The tortoise and the black come with a dark gray lens the purple comes with a brown polarized lens a brown gradient so you can still wear these indoors it's lighter at the bottom so you can read price tags indoors things like that and still give you the maximum amount of sun protection and polarized is better than just a tinted lens polarized is a specialized filter kind of like venetian blinds for your eyes if you will the same way you can skip a stone off of water light hits a flat surface and re reflects back up um, off of roads bumpers windshields 
and originally it was designed for our U.S. Navy members who were getting such glare off the off the water on the decks of the ship. So the that's what it was designed for, but it, you can use it in everyday life no matter where you're at. Now, again, so that's the four colors, the three sizes it comes in. If you have any questions, go to the Contact Me page of the website. You can email me directly at christianeyewear at gmail.com. You can follow me on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter as Christian Eyewear. You can also leave a question or comment in the comment section below. But Glenda in Spencer, West Virginia, I cannot thank you enough for your faith in the Lord above and your faith in me for buying these online for trusting a stranger another child of God and but I'm I'm here for you that's why I explained the process I want you to see everything involved with making your glasses the final inspection and making sure they're in standard alignment of course free shipping anywhere in the US and I'll get these out to you today this is Thursday I'm going to do my best to make sure you're wearing these Saturday for the weekend and that's it. Again, if you have any questions, reach out to me at the website or on the email me at christianeyewear at gmail.com or leave a question in the comment section below. I'll respond to that. But Glenda and Spencer, West Virginia, thank you so much for the purchase of the Philippians 413. As we all know, I can do all things through God who strengthens me. 52 eye size, 18 bridge, purple with the gold crosses and the brown polarized magnetic clip-on. And for those who need a second one, additional clip-ons are available for $25. I keep one in my wife's car, one in my car. That way, no matter what car I'm in, I've got polarized clip-ons. To have a second pair of polarized prescription sunglasses for $25, pretty nice feature. And again, why do you need this clip-on if she has transitions? As I was mentioning earlier, they do not darken in the car. So think of this as your seatbelt. When you get in the car, put on your clip-on, put on your seatbelt. When you get out of the car, take off your seatbelt, take off the clip, and leave this in the car. Because as soon as she gets out, these will darken. But of course, you can also take this with you. Store it in the case. Every frame comes with a hard shell case. And the Christian eyewear cleaning cloth with the three crosses on, the, on Mount Calvary. It has my social media sites. And again, thank you so much for watching. And now hopefully everyone's gotten a chance to see how I bring God's loving feeling back to glasses. Thank you.